In this problem, we are dealing with a reaction, a reaction that involves both sulfuric acid and aluminum metal. So let's first write down the reaction because we're going to use this reaction. We have to describe this reaction. So we have H2SO4 plus aluminum. And if you look at the reactants, you should be able to, to figure out that it is a single replacement reaction. So the, uh, the product would be aluminum sulfate and hydrogen gas. Okay? And remember, for when we do with uh, stoichiometry problems, we have to have a balanced equation. So let's balance this equation first. So we have three sulfates here and we have two aluminum. And on the left hand side we have six hydrogens total and then we should have six hydrogens on the product side. And now the reaction is balanced. And then we can look at the details of the problem. So the problem gives us the concentration of the sulfuric acid, which is 4.40 molar. And we don't have the volume. On the other hand, we have 100 grams of aluminum. So let me write up right here. Okay? And remember, stoichiometry is about using the balance equation. And from the balance equation, we use mole ratio to find out the amount of the other uh, the other compound or product, reactants. And so we have to, in order to use mole ratio, we have to find out the moles of the given first. So let's find out the moles of aluminum here. So we have 100 grams of aluminum. And from the periodic table, we have the molar mass of the aluminum, which is 26.98. So, one mole of aluminum over 26.98 grams of aluminum. And that's going to give us 3.71 moles of aluminum. So, this is the amount of aluminum we have in terms of mole. And now we have mole and we can use mole ratio to find out the amount of sulfuric acid in terms of mole. So let me do it right here. So what we can do simply is that we have this amount of moles of aluminum. And based on the balance equation, we, have a, we can make a mole ratio. So we have two moles of aluminum, and it is to three moles of, hydro, uh, of the sulfuric acid. And we can calculate. And that gives us 5.56 moles of the sulfuric acid. This is a very important piece of information because in order to find out the volume of the sulfuric acid, we have to have, in this case, since it's a solution, we have to have the molarity and the number of moles. So now we can make use of this formula, okay? And we can rearrange it. So volume is equal to mole over the molarity. And so, the number of moles we have here is 5.56 moles of sulfuric acid, okay? And it is over 4.40 molar of the sulfuric acid. So if you use calculator, 4.4, so you should get 1.26 liter of the solution. And this is the amount we need to completely react with the aluminum. 
And now here we are assuming that they will both react to the completion and the percent yield is 100%. And this is the assumption for this answer.